I've been a council tenant for the last 25 years. I've been a council tenant for 27 years. I've been a council tenant for 55 years and I've lived in this house all the time. We moved in in uh, five years ago in June and uh, it was one of the best things we ever did. I have two children. I've got a 13 year old girl and 10 year old boy. Um, and they both love to play on the new, brand new fitted equipment that we've had on our estate. Um, the community is fantastic, we all look out for each other's children. I'm very lucky, I've got a new kitchen, I've got a new floor, new walls, <laughs> new electrics. Yeah, it's fabulous. Welcome to North West Leicestershire District Council's housing service and your new home. In this short film we'll explain a bit more about the services we provide and how you can use them. At the end, we'll also explain what to do if you have any questions. You can sit back and watch all in one go, or you can go back to the main menu to jump to those parts that are most important to you. We own and manage 4,300 homes and over 600 garages and garage sites. Homes range in size from one to five bedrooms and from houses to flats and sheltered accommodation for older people and those who need a bit more help. On average, we let around 350 homes a year. Most people need one and two bedroomed homes, but we own a lot of larger homes, so we are working hard to better match our homes to the need of the local community, including plans to build new homes for the first time in 25 years. We employ 130 staff to help provide your housing services. Our team look after everything from collecting the rent to carrying out repairs to your home. The team is led by our Director of Housing, who is supported by our Head of Housing. We have a dedicated councillor who is the portfolio holder responsible for the housing service. The services we provide are paid for out of the rent that you pay us to live in your home. It costs the council around £18 million each year to run our housing services. Your tenancy agreement is a legal document that explains your rights and responsibilities as a council tenant. It also explains what the council's rights and responsibilities are. It is important that you read and understand it before you sign it. You must ensure that you or other persons living in your home or visitors do not behave in a way which causes or is likely to cause danger, nuisance, annoyance or disturbance to other tenants, council staff, contractors or any other persons living in or visiting the area. There are two types of council tenancy, introductory and secure. Introductory tenancies are used when someone first takes a tenancy with the council. Tenants with this agreement do not have the full range of legal rights and can be evicted more easily. If all goes well for the first 12 months, these tenancies then convert to a secure tenancy. Secure tenants have a range of rights including the right to security of tenure, so the council cannot evict you without a court order. The right to succession. This means you can pass on your tenancy to a spouse, civil partner or family members if you die. The right to take in a lodger. The right to sublet part of your home. The right to assign. This means you can sign over your tenancy agreement to someone else. The right to exchange so you can exchange homes with another council or housing association tenant and the right to buy your home. A full explanation of the rules around these rights are in your tenant's handbook. If you need a replacement copy, you can get one from our website or by contacting our housing management team. Some tenants need extra help because of their age or a disability our mobile support team work in the community to support individuals within their own homes, as well as running group activities. Tenants using the service have an individual support plan and our support officers keep in touch through personal visits and phone calls. In case individuals need help outside of office hours, tenants are given a lifeline pendant or pull cord system, which is monitored by our 24-hour control centre in Colville. With the pull cord and the pendants, um, if you fall or trip or you don't feel well, you just press your pendant and someone's on the other end of the phone. Um, and so, yes, I feel really safe and secure. 
If you're interested in receiving this service in your home, why not contact us and find out more? Some of our schemes have communal lounges, kitchens and guest rooms to help our tenants keep in touch with their family and fellow residents. You must make sure that your home is properly maintained. We expect you to look after your home, but when repairs are needed, our in-house repairs team will carry them out. You can report a repair by phone, online or by email, by letter or in person. More details are in your tenant's handbook. We will offer you an appointment for either the morning, 8am to 1pm, or the afternoon, 12 noon to 4.30pm, and we'll try to avoid certain times, like during the school run, if you let us know. The council is responsible for making sure your home is structurally sound, weather tight, has hot and cold water, heating and safe electrical systems. Where homes have gas appliances, we are responsible for doing an annual safety check and you must allow us into your home to do this. You must take reasonable care of your home, both inside and out, and you must report any repairs to us. You are also responsible for providing us with access to carry out repairs and servicing, decorating the inside of your home, internal fittings, things like curtain rails and light bulbs, anything which you have installed yourself, items you damage or break, keeping your garden and any shared areas clean and tidy, maintenance of any tree which is within the boundary of your property, any work we do to gain access to your home as a result of you being locked out, and home contents insurance. We have set response times for dealing with repairs. Emergency repairs, where there is a risk of injury or serious damage to the property, will usually be done within 24 hours. We operate an emergency repair service outside normal working hours. Urgent repairs, where there is no danger but inconvenience, will usually be done within seven calendar days. And normal repairs will usually be done within four weeks. We will always maintain your home in line with the government's decent home standard. To do this, we plan regular maintenance and improvements to homes in annual programmes so that we can keep things like external painting up to date and replace things like roofs and boilers when they are needed. When your home is due any of this type of work, we will write to you and explain what we plan to do. You will need to give us access to your home to do the work and we will always aim to minimise any inconvenience to you and your family. We are committed to improving the energy efficiency of our properties to provide tenants with warm homes that can be heated comfortably at an affordable cost. We set targets for energy efficiency and plan to tackle fuel poverty by ensuring that those at greatest risk receive the support and advice they need. In 2015, we have undertaken a trial in tenants' homes to determine the most effective way to roll out renewable technology to all council properties. 12 properties have been fitted with a range of different renewable systems. The pilot will gather information on cost, performance and tenant satisfaction to inform a rollout programme from 2016-17. Under the Green and Decent pilot we've uh, had an uh, air source heat pump fitted which gives us free hot water and saves on our electric bills. The council installed 12 solar panels for me and over a period of time of uh, 12 months we've noted a large drop in both gas and electrical usage. We've dropped 94% on the gas and 76% on the electric use which in turn has halved the normal utility bill for each item. Your rent pays for your homes, repairs and all the services you receive. For every £1 we receive in rent 37 pence goes on planned improvement programmes, like new windows. 28 pence is spent on general repairs and maintenance. 19 pence on loan interest and repayments. 14 pence is used to pay for services and the remaining 2 pence on bad debts and maintaining a small working balance. Rent is due weekly in advance, but you can pay monthly in advance if you prefer. We like tenants to pay by direct debit or standing order as this is most convenient for you and helps keep our costs down. However, you can pay by card, post, telephone or online. 
If you are ever concerned about being able to pay your rent, you must contact us straight away. We can offer you help and advice with housing and council tax benefits, and also put you in touch with other organisations that may be able to help, like the Citizens Advice Bureau. Remember, you may lose your home if you do not pay your rent. Our Tenancy Support Officer works with individuals who need short-term financial advice, guidance and support to remain in their home. If you feel that you need some support, why not contact us? Should you need any further advice or guidance in respect of your housing options, contact the Housing Choices team. Getting in touch with the team early on means we can help prevent you becoming homeless. We believe the housing service works best when you get involved. As well as your legal right to be consulted on changes to the way your homes are managed, maintained or improved, we offer a menu of ways to get involved, including joining the editorial panel who produced the Tenants magazine, In Touch, becoming a member of the Tenants Scrutiny Panel who carry out inspections of the housing service and make recommendations on how services can be improved, supporting your local tenants and residents association who deliver a range of activities in your local community, becoming a member of the Tenants and Leaseholders Consultation Forum who act as the main group of residents for all consultations, joining a working group and getting involved in the nuts and bolts of how our services are run. I have a lot to do with the tenant involvement. Um, it gives me the opportunity to have my say um, from a resident's point of view and just to have a bit of input onto the way, into the way that we receive our services and, and how tenants are seen. I'm heavily involved with resident involvement through the scrutiny panel. Um, we've put forward lots of recommendations and the council has listened to everything we've said and accepted every one of them. Our involvement with the council is showing that the council is listening to what we're putting forward as suggestions to improve the council services. Um, if we go to a tenants forum which involves other groups we find that North West Leicester is giving us more than everybody else is getting. If you're interested in getting involved, full training is provided and it can be a great way to meet people and develop new skills as well as improving where you live. Why not contact our resident involvement team today and find out more? We hope you have found this short film useful. Please make sure you also find time to read your tenant's handbook as the things we have explained in this film are covered in more detail there. If you still have a question, here's how you can get in touch. Call us on 01530 454545 or visit www.nwlecs.gov.uk. Thanks for watching. <laughs>